have been on this for a long time. I'm so fucking right about Justin Bieber, it's insane. I couldn't be more right about Justin Bieber. For example, he dresses like an asshole. See his, um, I'm loud as fuck. See Justin Bieber's outfit from this past weekend at the Grammys. See his outfit. And then tell me that's not bullshit. Rich people dress like assholes. And I've been saying that for years, pal. Years I've been saying that. And he dresses like an asshole. And then I see it's like Justin Bieber, Balenciaga. And I go, cool. But why does he have to dress like an asshole? Why can't he just wear like a nice tailored suit? What is he trying to say with this outfit that looks like he got into his dad's, his banker dad's, you know, closet. And it's just this massive suit. And he just looks so fucking stupid in it. And everyone's going to be like, oh, Justin, a trailblazer, a real trailblazer. When in reality, Justin Bieber's a weirdo. And Justin Bieber, the music is fine. I've never wanted to complain about Justin Bieber's music. I remember when Justin Bieber first got, first started hitting the, the airwaves. And I was listening, I was at my buddy Alex's house. Can I call him my buddy? I'm going to call him my buddy. He probably listen, he might listen to this podcast. He told me he does. He might be a fucking liar. You know, and aren't we all? You know, we all have flaws. Um, but I remember we were sitting there in his basement and he got a nice house, you know what I mean? And he was, we were like, do you, we should watch that new Justin Bieber video. He was like baby at the time. And he had another song, like one less lonely girl. I know them all, you know, and we were doing market research and, um, he, we were watching and we like hate watched all his videos. Like, dude, this sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, let's watch another. And we were just hate watching his videos, but we loved them at the same time. Like this, you know, this sucks, right? And we're like, yeah, this, this blows. No, dude, nobody likes this. How do girls like this? I mean, he's so good looking and talented and we're so not any of those things. So yeah, that's why I probably hate Justin Bieber. I don't hate the music. And then I remember getting fucking flamed Cody Ko and Noel, Noel Miller, heard of them? They were talking about this where Cody went to a Justin Bieber show and um, he like did this weird thing. You know, like when you're at a concert and all of a sudden the artist just goes on a tangent, basically just does a little stand-up set, but they're usually talking about something super serious. Like when I went to Ellen John's show, he talked about AIDS for a couple of minutes and I was like, well, that's kind of makes sense, but it was kind of weird at the same time. And cause it was weird. Cause it's like in between Crocodile Rock and, and like, and honky cat he just like stops and he's like he's like you know aids are a real problem we face and everyone goes everyone's just in the moment and they go Ooh! and they're just like bum, bum, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba <laughs> aids are a real fucking problem i packed my bags last night briefly <laughs> so justin bieber does these weird fucking monologues where he's just War is bad, okay? Everyone needs to know. We all need to love each other. And here's sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? No, it's not, Putin. You can say sorry. <laughs> Please stop killing all those innocent Ukrainians. Please. Please stop. It's really, it's really shitty what's going on over there, buddy. You know, I'm not going to post. Um, and then Justin Bieber took the whole Black Square on Instagram thing to a whole fucking new level last year with his album. And I got, in, I got like flamed for it. And people were like, dude, you're just being a hater. He's making a statement. And he literally, I'm listening to his new album, Market Research. You know, the one with peaches on it. I don't know what it's called. You know, I'm not up on Justin Bieber dis discography. Okay. I watch it. I listen to a few songs and the songs are good. And I'm listening to the album and all of a sudden I'm just inundated with a Martin Luther King Jr. speech in the middle of singing about he gets his peaches from Georgia and bangs this broad out in Los Angeles or some shit. I get a random Martin Luther King Jr. speech. Like I'm in seventh grade history class. And I'm like, listen, that was weird. And then I, I posted that and people were like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> they were all mad at me. I'm like, wait a minute, this is weird though. This was strange that he is now 
talking about? Like he's making like what what does this have to do with Martin Luther King Jr.?